hear me? Yes. Oh, thank God. Um, I've been having some trouble with people being able to hear me. I'm not sure why. My name okay. is Jose Melendez. I believe the general counsel is expecting my call. Um, I'm sorry. Hold on, one. Could you tell me your name, please? My name is Paula. Hi, Paula. I was told to Hi. call you. Okay. And I left a message I, on your machine last night with um, Sergeant Rogers on the phone, on speakerphone. Okay. Are you Paula Davis? Yes. Okay. Did you receive my message last night with Officer, I'm sorry, Sergeant Rogers on the speakerphone? Um, I hadn't had a chance to listen to my messages this morning. I see. May I have your email address so that we can save you a lot of time? It usually takes about 45 minutes to explain this, and we have to be in court at 3 p.m. on Thursday where Yemasee Municipal Court, although they received our filings for Rule 5 documents on July 17 and on August 6 in open court, the prosecuting attorney I'm sorry, not an attorney, the prosecuting officer and the judge both agreed that we would have the rest of our Rule 5 evidence on, I'm sorry, within 10 days of August 6th. It has been significantly longer than that, and they have not produced the Rule 5 evidence nor any other documentation other than tickets upon which are inscribed the an, a non-existent South Carolina statute. Okay. So my so, email address. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Paula Davis. Got it. At scdps. Dot gov. Dot gov. Yes. Copy that over and forward to you this while we while we're talking, so that way we're sure that it was received. Again. We have filed a Rule 5 evidence on July 17, and on August 6th, we were told by Judge McKinney and Corporal Strauss of Yemassee Municipal Court that in 10 days we would receive the rest of our Rule 5 evidence, and Sergeant Rogers yesterday on speakerphone, over the phone, to your message machine even, I believe, although your machine might have cut it off, says that they have not received any Rule 5 request and that I must contact you in order to receive the video from Lance Corporal Laura A. Mall's um, uh, stop at mile marker 37 on I-95 where she speaks to a corporal man from Holly Hill, South Carolina. You should know that we do have Corporal Mann's video and they can be heard discussing the reason for the stop and laughing when I asked for an attorney. Okay, uh, so you're needing the video from the stop? Yes. And you're saying that you sent over a Rule 5? Who did you send your Rule 5 to? We, we gave a Rule 5, uh, and we, uh, we photographed it being stamped by Clerk of Court Billy Sanford in Yemassee Municipal Court. I can right now send you a copy of that. However, Sergeant Rogers yesterday in his capacity as Trooper Maul's supervisor states repeatedly for the record and I have a recording of this that they have not received that you have not received any Rule 5 request from Yemesi Municipal Court and instructs me to ask that you obtain it he says he has the video on his laptop and that it's only three minutes the Rule 5 evidence that we have received thus far demonstrates that to be factually inaccurate. Okay, well normally when I receive the Rule 5, I send them directly to the truth and the truth normally gets the information together. I can't release any information 
without a real buy, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on a hold for a second, and I'm gonna try to explain to the assistant um, general counsel, and maybe she can help you out. Just hold hold us on one second, okay? Mm, Ma'am, uh, did you no. receive? Excuse me, before you put me on hold, can you tell me if you have received my email so that I'm sure that I typed it correctly? Yes, I received an email from you, and I'm going to forward over to okay. Mrs. Henderson. Could, and could, that's you, the could you please, could you please just read aloud that first paragraph? Um, hold on one oh, wait, second. Wait, wait, okay, just where it says South Carolina Highway Patrol, Sergeant Rogers. Could you please just read that aloud? South Carolina Highway Patrol. It's just one sentence. That actually. Um, hold on one second. Wait, wait, wait! Please don't put me on hold. Ma'am, are you still there? Henderson, how may I help you? Hi. May I have your email address, please, so that I'm sure that we are on the same page? My paralegal just sent me an email that you sent to her. Is it the same? I don't know. Could you read aloud to me just the first paragraph where it says, To all recipients and ends at three minutes? Uh, I do have that email. Could how can I help? Are you saying that you won't read that aloud? It's just one or two sentences. I'm, okay, so maybe um, I will, I'm not very familiar with what you spoke about with my paralegal, so maybe we should start with like a backstory so I can see what I can do to help you Ma'am, this takes um, 45 with what your request might be. I, it's been my experience that this takes 45 minutes to go through. I just asked that you read that, just that last sentence where it says, South Carolina Highway Patrol Sergeant. Just that one I'm sentence. trying I see, here's the thing. Um, I'm an attorney that represents this agency, yes, and I'm probably an one of, uh, oh, just, just give me two seconds, huh. and then um, I'll do my best to help you, help me help you, um, and so um, I get a lot of phone calls, and I, I understand it might be a frustrating process, but usually by the time you get to me, I'm the person in the best position to help you get the information that you're seeking. Sounds like you said that before. Charged. Okay, go ahead and tell me what you want to say, since you're uh, refusing to read that sentence aloud. Go ahead. Just tell me what you want me to ask. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't know what you need. So oh, I'm okay. What I need, you. first is I, what I need is that you read aloud that one sentence so that we're sure that we're on the same page. I'll read it out loud for you. And so that way, will yeah, I mean, you, can you're you hear me? To read. Yes, I will read it aloud. Yeah, can, I, you, can you hear me? Because I've been having trouble with I, this phone. I have an email in front of me. You're welcome to read it to me. Okay, I'm just going to, excuse me, I don't mean to speak over you. I've got a little delay on the phone because we have no more money left. Uh, Yemisee Municipal Court stole all of our money. There's no money left at all. We are eating out of the food pantry, and uh, we are about to lose our homes over a $200 ticket. So, I will read aloud the sentence that I was asking that you read aloud. Will you tell me, can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Okay, yes, fine. I'm going to read this aloud. South Carolina Highway Patrol Sergeant Rogers, in his capacity for, as Trooper Mall's supervisor, states repeatedly for the record that they have not, they meaning your agency, 
Do you understand what I'm saying so far? I understand English Okay, very fine. Well, Thank you kindly. I'm, and I'm following along. That's fine. That they have not received any Rule 5 request from Yemasi Municipal Court with regard to Maul's time on the scene at mile marker 37 on July 16, and that their video is only three minutes. Did you hear me state that aloud? I did. Okay. Now tell me what you'd like me to ask, please. Well, I'm still not sure, and I hear the delay now as well as if we're being recorded. I st I'm still not sure what I can do to, to help you. So it seems like, and I'm not familiar with your case, as you can imagine, we have hundreds of troopers all over the state. Yes, I see but that it's it a cash like cow you, for, your, for your state. But what I'm saying is that I'm requesting oh, the see, video. Oh, see, see, here's the problem. I was very quiet and patient with you while you read this email to me, and so now this is my turn to speak to you so, yes, we can do, so I can do my best to resolve this. Yes, so I'm going to say my part, and then I'll be quiet and listen to you. Fair enough. So here, here's where we are now. I've, I've read where it looks like this is an email from you on September 18th at 7 o'clock this morning where it looks like you, I'm trying to figure out who you sent this to, but either way it's been sent to someone I'm assuming who's a, um, a tied to my agency where you've uh, sent a Rule 5 request to the court, even a Rule 5 request goes straight to the officer, but either way it's gone to the court and you're seeking a specific type of information. So what I can do for you is reach out to this troop figure out a little bit more about your case and see whether or not this information even exists. Would you like me to take those steps on your behalf? Yes, please. And we do know that it exists because I have spoken uh, with Highway Patrol Sergeant Rogers in his capacity as Trooper Mall's supervisor, and he has stated repeatedly for the record that they have not received any Rule 5 request from Yemasi Municipal Court, and he has confirmed that he has listened to the video. Listen okay, to the and audience. so you understand that that might mean that this information doesn't exist. No, that does not mean it doesn't exist. He just told me yesterday, and I have him repeatedly saying that he has it on his laptop. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll reach out to this officer, and you understand it's not the court's responsibility to send officers Rule 5. It's, if you're not represented, it's your responsibility to send that directly to the trooper. We were told um, by the judge and the prosecuting uh, officer who is not an attorney that we would have the Rule 5 evidence that we did request. They did already get uh, the Rule 5 evidence from one of the responding officers, that to wit, Corporal Mann from Holly Hill, South Carolina. They did also attempt to suppress that evidence, telling it, it us that it was under lock and key, despite that they had said, because we were out of state, that they would mail it to us. When we showed up... I have one... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'll let you no, finish. ladies first, please. Um, is your case still pending, or has it been already adjudicated? I believe that I mentioned that we are to appear on... at 3 p.m. on... Thursday, that's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So your case is not, has not concluded. It's still open. And what were you charged with? Um, we were charged under a statute that does not exist. May I read it to you? And could you read it back to me so that I'm sure that I said it correctly? Well, I don't. Uh, can you okay. just tell me the name I, of the charge or what's written? Well, I, I, I simply wanted to tell you the statute that was imprinted on the ticket. Did you not uh, sure. receive that as an attachment in this uh, email? Um, no, I don't okay. have okay, any Okay, that's no problem. No problem. Could you please tell me your email address now? I'll just send you the attachment, and then while I'm sending it, I will read to you just the statute that was imprinted on the ticket. But if you tell me your email address first, that would rapidly uh, make sure that you received the, a copy of the... Uh, go ahead and tell me, please. If you just give me your um, the, the statute, since you don't want to... Wait, I'm sure the I have had the a, documentation a here for you to, so that you can have it in, uh, as evidence in your agency. Are you saying that you won't tell me your e email address? If you won't, that's fine. I, I just think it's unnecessary. Oh, I you don't want to, to see the, tickets, the ticket. My, my okay, I'm going to read to you the... I uh, have access to the tickets. I could look it up oh, myself. Please, I'm please, to read to me. Text. Yes, yes, that would be wonderful. Please read to me the ticket that is in my name for simple possession. And just tell me the statute that's imprinted upon it out loud. So, okay, SPA, I see where this is going. 
All right, so this is what I'll do. Um, I'll reach out to the trooper, see what I can find Did out. Did you do say you no, you wouldn't read it out loud to me? Okay, well, let me read it out loud to you. I think it's you. unnecessary. All right, well, then, since that's, all, that's fine. We won't, I listened, you listened to, to me ask, uh, answer your question, and now I'm going to answer the question that w w we were charged with was statute 44-53-0. Three seven zero parentheses capital D parentheses four. This is non-existent. the The closest statute in South Carolina law is four four dash five three dash three seven zero parentheses lowercase d parentheses four. Did you catch that? I heard it, okay. and I will um, look into this, and I have your email address, so I will respond as soon as I have more information. Ma'am, uh, we are to appear before Judge McKinney at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Is there any way to expedite by email or make, make sure that that video is at court? This is the first I'm hearing of this. I, I understand, but they, they to told us that they, the judge it. and the prosecuting officer promised us this evidence four times now. I, I have no association with what the judge might have promised you because I'm not handling this case. But on my own, right this second, I will do my best to reach out to the trooper who may or may not be working because they're on 12-hour night and day yes, shift and that, see uh, what I can find uh, out. Could you tell me this your name again? I've heard of this. Could you tell me your name again? Excuse me? Could you please tell me? Yes, yeah, sure. My club, and that's spelled T E. Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me. You're, you're, uh, it broke up right when you said your name. No, no, it's fine. I'll repeat it. My first name is Tekla, and that is spelled T-E-C-K-L-A. And my last name is Henderson. And then what's the be. email address at? I don't need to provide my email address because I have all your information. So I will, and, and it looks like I even have your phone number here. So I will um, do my best to get to work on this right this second and to see what I can find out. But I'm not even sure that this trooper is working. But um, I'll do my best, and either way, you'll have a response from me today. What time do you uh, stop your business today? You will have a response from me before I leave work today. Yes, I was wondering what time you end uh, business today, please. The agency is open um, here at headquarters until 5. And you work until 5? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Oh, okay, so you might... Um, you might call or email before 5. You will have a response from me today. By 5? It would definitely be a response before 5. Oh, thank you kindly. Okay, Ms. Tekla. Is there anything else you need from me? Oh, no, I don't need anything else from you. I'll get to work on this. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. I appreciate your candor. Thank you. Bye-bye. Of course. Thank you kindly, and I'm sorry to bother you about this. I, I would have preferred not to have been stopped in the first place. No, you're fine. Thank you kindly. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.